Hey kiddos, I'm here with Classroom 13, chapters 13 and 14 today. A lot of 13s in that sentence. And here we go, the title of this chapter is Classroom 13, Chapter 13. For some odd reason, Lucy LaRue, famous agent of Ace Agent Agency, didn't even consider representing Classroom 13. The 13th classroom tried to speak up and say it wanted to be famous, but the students, as usual, were being far too loud. Filled with jealousy and rage, the 13th classroom vowed revenge, for the third time, on all of Miss Linda's students and also that terrible Lucy LaRue. That was it. Chapter 14. <laughs> Who says, Zimina. As Lucy looked for her next victim, I mean client, she found Zimina sitting at her desk quietly sketching flowers. What do you want to be famous for? Lucy asked. What's your talent? I don't have any talent, Zimina said, which was a silly thing to say as every child is good at something, whether they know it or not. Everyone has something that can be ex exploited, I mean used, Lucy said. For instance, your art. Let me see those sketches. I like to draw flowers, Zimina said as Lucy flipped through her sketchbook. Each and every page was covered in sketches of flowers. I've seen enough. Lucy said. You're coming to New York City with me. Time for the modern art world to meet their newest sensation, Zimina. Once Zimina got to New York City, Lucy put her up in a studio and told her to draw until she couldn't feel her hand. And that's exactly what Zimina did. She drew big flowers and small flowers. She sketched fat flowers and skinny flowers. She painted bright flowers and dark flowers. After only a week, she'd made thousands of pictures of flowers. Lucy LaRue framed them and put them up in a gallery. They were going to have the biggest art opening ever. <clears throat> Can I interrupt the story for a second? Believe it or not, your old pal Honest Lee here has been to a few art openings and knows a thing or two about a, the snooty art world. Let me explain how things work for you. There is free cheese at art openings. Eat as much as you want. There's always more. Don't let them tell you otherwise. Even if they say, Honest Lee, leave some for the other patrons. Eat all you want. Cheese is awesome. Unless, of course, you're lactose intolerant. Moving on. It was Zimina's big night, so she wore her favorite flower dress, which her abuela had made for her. She only expected maybe 20 people to show up for her show. Instead, hundreds came. There was a line out the door of people trying to get in. The art world loved her flowers, and more importantly, they loved Zimina. She's so nice, they said, and easy to talk to, others said. And her art? The flowers are more real than real flowers. Millionaires paid millions for her artistic renderings of flowers. I can't even tell what kind of flower this is, one rich man said, which means it's obviously the best, and I need to buy it at any cost. Sold. Lucy shouted, counting the piles of cash. Yes, art types and critics alike loved Zimina's portraits of flowers. She was the newest artist of her age, and the best part was, this was only the beginning. The next day, Lucy said, Okay, things in the art world are always moving and changing, so what are you going to draw next? More flowers, I guess, Zimina said. That's all I know how to draw. Surely you can do more than just flowers, Lucy said. Try to draw a person or a puppy or some stars. Zimina drew a person, a puppy, and some stars, but they all look like flowers. Try a robot or a cowboy or some skulls, Lucy said. Zimina drew a robot, a cowboy, and some skulls. They all looked like flowers, too. Try a house or an ocean or some saltine crackers. Zimina drew a house an ocean, and some saltine crackers. They, too, all look like flowers. I give up, Lucy said. Ooh, I can do kittens, Zimina said. Yes, do that. Zimina drew a kitten, but it looked like a flower, too. If you can't draw anything else, your art career is over, Lucy said. Zimina shrugged. She didn't mind. She really liked drawing flowers. That's it for me. See you guys later.